Hello, my name is Sanna Vara. I live in the far north of Finland on an old farmhouse in a small countryside village of 25 people. I create photographs, videos and music inspired by this wild Nordic nature I get to live surrounded with. In this video, we're leaving north. We leave north once or twice a year. We drive to southern Finland and visit my family, friends and relatives who almost all live there. I don't see them too often since the distance is quite long. Southern Finland is different from the north. All the big cities where I used to live too are located there. None of us feel quite home in the cities, but we do get to travel with our second home, the van. But first, it needs to be rebuilt back to its glory, since during the winter and spring, my van was used for moving and renovation, and it was in a poor condition. My van was built for two persons to live and travel a year ago. We traveled to the northern Finland and northern Norway with it and found that the setup is just perfect for what it is, so we didn't change anything. Mud on your boots tell the story of where you've been. Travel, beat up, warning with settled souls. Trust your God, you have earned at least that age has We have a very modest fan setup with a bed, kitchen, with gas stove, fridge and a very manual water system that has one tank for clean water and one for dirty water under the sink that we empty when needed. And a little room for clothes, camera stuff and of course the dogs who always travel with us. Everything here is super simple, built by hand by us and is far from perfection, but I do feel the van is our second home. It is so cozy and having all the stuff and homely feeling with you makes traveling so much easier. Your God, you have earned at least that age has proven to. Oh, it's a Gerta. Where are we going? We are heading towards the south, the ugly and dirty south. <laughs> Why? More traffic. When you travel across the country, there are so many villages and small towns that look abandoned, but every summer they all come back to life again. Almost all Finnish people have some kind of summer cottages or farmhouses in the countryside. Since just one generation ago, most of the Finnish people lived not in the cities, but in very self-sufficient farmhouses all around the country. My family has these kind of places too. 
and I feel much better visiting important people of my life in these kind of views than in southern cities. When we travel, we usually stay in the van. We try to find a parking space outside the city somewhere near water if possible. That almost always is possible since there are so many lakes in Finland. It takes a bit of time to get used to van life again after living in a big farmhouse, but after a few nights it all goes well again. I do enjoy this, being on the road, living with just the most simple things with me, meeting up with dear people and enjoying the Finnish summer. Hi everybody, we are now at Jupajoki residence. Lady of the house isn't speaking because she is indoors. Right now we are making coffee. Please, Joe. I can't speak. This life goes on a day after another. When spending the days traveling or in the city, I try to gather the nature around me by picking up wildflowers everywhere and carrying rocks and feathers I found with me, just to feel that I have something familiar with me. <laughs> I love these people who live here, but the south does not make me feel good. The cities, all the people and traffic and the sound of them feels sometimes just too much. It is one of the main reasons I moved north, to be able to find silence and peace, and most of all, just the nature around me. So I feel very good being able to get back home in the north after spending two weeks on the road in southern Finland, living in the van and seeing the people of my life again. <laughs>